Hi friends, this is Audi One and you're watching part 16 of the Secret Lab series. Today we are going to discuss the injection in form of cookies. Before we start, a quick note. Lesson number 20, 21, 22, 23 have been recently added up and pushed to GitHub. You can just download the package as a new zip extract it on your machine and you are good to go or you can just download the different files and just place them on your folder and play with them so let's start for the cookie based injection I would be using lesson number 20 and 21 for this video So before we start, as usual, we have to understand the flow of the program. So let's just give it a valid input. I have already connected to the MySQL backend and just dumped the info for us. Let's log in as user dump. And the password for the user is again dump let's submit it we get some info on the screen it says your user agent is something your IP address is again something your cookie is dump and it gives us you name equal something well we can quickly fire up firebug we can also use tamper data we can also use an interceptor proxy for this. I'll be using Firebug for this module. Let's press F12 to open up. And let me just clear up some old cookies. So for this, lesson number 20, we have uname as the cookie and value as dump let's delete this cookie let's put in username admin and just try to put in a wrong password or something and it says login failed let's put in admin and password as admin so this time we are logged in as admin id number eight and if we just check the fire bug the cookie here is admin so let's start fuzzing it for the sake of this exercise I am not going to fuzz the username and the password parameter but in general you should let's edit this and let's provide an escape character for the SQL server and let's refresh the page and there you go we straight away have an error in our SQL query so that means if we try to go back and recap the earlier videos well if we see that we have a database driven website the website is interacting with the web page and when we provide a valid information a valid username and a password combination it's dumping something on the screen so there are some columns being dumped or shown on the screen we also have error error the mysql errors so we can use this to build up our query so technically if we say this is another form of error based SQL injection as we see the error we injected a slash admin slash to be honest enough and we have this info dumped that means that the developer is using a single quotes in his query let's validate it let's just edit the query edit the cookie value here 
let's say we use a single quotes or one equals one and let's comment out the rest of the query using a comment let's refresh this and there you go we fix the query following the same logic that we followed in the previous videos that we have to know the left side we have to know the right side and we can inject anything in between so let's not waste time and just straight away do a query to find out the number of columns although you guys would be knowing by now that the database is having just three columns so let's do order by four just to be double sure of and let's refresh it and we get an unknown column four let's do adjust this to three and let's redo it and it works that means our database is displaying three columns or rather than saying displaying the web application is requesting three columns from the database irrespective of how many columns are there in the database table our application is requesting three columns so let's edit this and say union select one comma two comma three and let's see it on the screen well we did not expect expect this what is the problem can anyone guess well the simple problem is we have to invalidate the first part so we invalidate it and now it should work so we see column number two column number three and one on screen let's go further and let's say let's dump the database and let's dump the version of mysql and we have the database and the version well you can continue this further using the information schema and dumping all all the information for your practice i'll quickly move ahead to lesson number 21 before moving further i'll clear the cookie just to be clean during the video so lesson number 21 also looks almost the same let's put in the username admin admin this time what we see that we have the cookie u name being set but the value is not admin the value is something else something cryptic let's delete this cookie and log in as dump so again the same thing the value changes let's copy this value for this cookie delete it login as admin let's edit this if you see we are logged in as admin but we replace the cookie of dump through it let's refresh the page and we are logged in as dump what does this mean well if we have active cookies or valid cookies let's say and we are able to just replace the cookies or get hold of the cookies we are able to hijack the sessions but that is not the objective of the video we are trying to understand the behavioral flow of the application 
so as to do an injection. So as we see that the cookie being generated is not dynamic or is not random, it remains same for the specific user. And we see these two equal to signs that shows us or indicates that this is a kind of an encoding rather than being some encryption. Let's take this value. Let's open up Google and type in base 64 decode or decoder. Let's put our cookie value here and let's say decode it for us. Let's see what is there. And we have the value done. Let's try something intelligent here. We have a user called Superman. So let's copy this and let's open up a new tab and let's rather than saying decode, let's say encode. And let's encode this value to make a cookie out of it. And we get some value. Let's copy this, take it back to our browser, edit the cookie. Let's minimize this and just replace the cookie and just refresh the page. And we are logged in as Superman. That means that when we log in correctly, providing a normal username and a password field, the application is generating a cookie. Rather than sending you the cookie as clear text, the username, it's trying to encode it with a base 64 encoder and sending it to your machine. When it goes back or when we when we are refreshing the page, it goes back and while going back, the application is decoding and extracting the information and using that to build up some query here, which you see here that username is Superman, password is genius, is ID is six. So to inject here, we need to do the injection and encode it and send it across to make it work. Well, to prove my point, let's do some injections here directly. And let's put some injection characters, single quotes. Uh, let's put single quotes, we put double quotes, let's put some hyphen, let's put some exclamation, let's put some hashes. And let's say OK. And let's refresh the page. It's taking some time. So it did not work for us. It just says bug off you silly dumb hacker and nothing works. Now let's go back to our encoder and let's try to use the encoded form. Okay, let's use just a slash encode it. This is the encoded value. Let's inject that in. Let me close this. Let's go back. Let's open up our firebug, edit value, replace the value. Okay, refresh it. And we have the error. So that means what we were anticipating on how the application is working, we figured it out. So let's quickly do a basic injection here. We know that all those are almost the same. Let's first see how the developer has put the query. So in this one, it's using a single quotes and a parenthesis. So let's use a single quotes, a parenthesis to escape 
then say union select one comma let's say database comma current underscore user and let's comment out the rest of the query we encode it this is what the encoding becomes and let's go back to the page edit the query and let's see and there we go we have the login name as security and password as root at localhost i hope you understood the logic of the injections so the most important aspect for the injection to work is the enumeration part where we enumerate and try to build up the query remaining you can try to just encode other queries try to play with those kind of queries and dump the information this would be all for now in this video as usual i would request you to leave feedbacks those feedbacks help me motivate and improve on the videos thank you very much and bye for now